that you all built and the bottom doesn't feel as bad as what I remember when I was a student here. All right, where should I sit? In the middle. In the middle. Right here? That the really big no, console. this is top. Right here. Straddle it, all right. <laughs> Uh oh, well this is really cold. Alright, and my feet are up and it's supporting me. Yeah. Alright, now where's up my leg? I'm gonna put them My feet are completely off there. Do I really have to put them up? Yeah. Why don't I have to put them up? Well there's a big rock right under me. Who's that over here? No, I'm a, whoa, it's falling apart right under me. All right, my feet are up. Here, I'll lay on it. Oh, I'm going to get the bottle. Oh, it's muddy. Hey. All right, I'll lay on it. All right, we have probably made a really big surf board. Alright, so it is supporting all 215 pounds. I lied to you when I said I was 230. This is actually 215, and it is completely supporting me. Alright, so would we... So what test would we um, say that we have passed here? It floated. Yeah. It floated? It supported your weight. It supported my weight. Did it balance me very well? No. No, because too much of my weight was... Towards the back, so what should I have done? Yeah, I should have tried to uh, distribute my weight more uh, um, evenly across the buoyancy is the keyword, right guys? Yeah. What? I can do right now. I just did, by floating on it. So it can fully support my weight. The tough part is it is the balance. So, I would say it worked. I, I would give it a 93A is what I would give it. Alright, let's go. Let's try bottles of 16 ounce bottles to float my 230 pounds. Luckily, I weighed myself at the gym recently and I'm actually only 215 pounds. So, we'll have that going for us plus some of these bottles. So we, we actually have 200 and, what, 210 bottles, but but we also have a few 2 liters and a few 20 ounces and a few 32 ounces. So it actually kind of evens out to work out about right, so it comes out to be about 300 um, 16 ounce bottles. So that being said, are we ready, ready to try it? Yeah. Alright, raise your hand if you think it's going to work. Come on, Travis. Raise your hand if you think I'm going to fall in. I'll help you. <laughs> and my feet are up. My feet are up. Sit on the bigger side. Feet are up, alright? So it supports it, uh, my weight. It floated. And y'all built it out of duct tape and plastic bottles. People thought it wouldn't work. Why on your back? No. Okay. I can have balance along the back. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much we built a huge surfboard, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one lonely bottle thing. Wet. <laughs> Going down. Yeah. Here you see the dead lizard, the SS dead lizard. 
Um, named accordingly for the uh, dead lizard that got trapped in the duct tape. Um, don't know how it got there. Why is it going in the pond? But um, that is how we have a licensed driver, so we're making sure we follow the rules. This time. This time. And there's a kid. There's a kid with a mohawk. Oh yeah, that's. We are at the best page of uh, landing, backing in the SS dead lizard to the. Uh, boat landing here. Got to make sure we do it all proper and everything. All right, you don't want the golf cart to go in the water. <laughs> well, you probably do, but your parents don't. All right, so here we go. Next. Yeah. All right, got to put it in there properly. All right, and uh, all right, real quick. All right, back tie it up. Make sure it's all good. Yeah, it has lots of detritus in the bottom, which is, uh,